Understanding communication does not mean confrontation. I cannot tell you how many times I've heard the following response. I'm just not a confrontational person. When I've asked, why haven't you spoken up about your feelings or shared your thoughts? Well, I'm just not a confrontational person. Please hear this and hear this well. Communication does not mean confrontation. And by believing they're one and the same, we are missing out on beautiful opportunities for connection. I understand if you believe you're an introvert and you don't feel so comfortable with speaking up when something's bothering you or sharing your thoughts in the classroom, I invite you to ask yourself this question. What do I miss out on by not speaking up? I'll give you a couple clues. Number one, you waste time. And time, even though it may not feel like this at this point in your college journey, time is the one thing we cannot get back. You never want to waste time. Number two, you waste energy. You waste energy in what I call the three-act play. The three-act play are those mental ruminations we go through when we're like, I don't know, I mean, I want to speak up, but if I say something, he's going to not want to talk to me anymore, and then they're going to think I'm stupid and I sound silly. And I... The three-act play. We waste energy in the mental ruminations. And number three, we miss out on opportunities. We don't know what is possible when we speak up for what we desire or we speak up about that thing that's really been bothering us or we tell our teacher that we would love to share this project idea in front of the classroom. We never know what is behind that door of opportunity unless we speak up with grace and kindness. Sometimes there's a, a belief that if we speak up, it's done with, with feelings of aggression and, and negative energy. I'm talking about speaking up from that real place of that quiet voice of our soul. When we speak up from something that we believe so deep within us, we can never go wrong. Communication does not mean confrontation. And speaking up, my friends, is not just our right, it's our duty. Because when we speak up in situations, it's not just about us. It's about the other person that we may be helping through speaking up. When I moved to Los Angeles, it was my first day at the gym. First day at this new gym around the corner from my house. I'm so excited. I don't know where anything is, so I just kind of lay myself down to stretch at one point. And as I'm laying there, I see this young mother walking towards me with her little daughter. And at that moment, I realized, oh, you know what? I think I'm in the walkway of the daycare. So as she gets close, I say, I'm so sorry. I realize I'm in the, in the walkway. And she goes, yeah, you are. Very abruptly, very rudely, I did not appreciate it. <laughs> and it took me aback, and I thought to myself, my first thought was, oh, this cannot be my first day in Los Angeles. This is not going to shape my first experience. So I decided to wait until she came out of the daycare to speak up and address her. And as she walked out, I said, excuse me, miss. But there was no need to be so rude. I, I realized that I was in the walkway and I apologized. And she got very finicky and she, she didn't know what to say and she just ran back to the locker room. I park myself somewhere else. I start stretching the other leg. And about 10 minutes later, I feel a shadow over me and it's the girl. And she looks at me and she says, I'm so sorry. You were 100% right. There was no need for me to be so rude. And I popped up like a Pop-Tart. And I looked at her and I said, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And it was this beautiful moment in my life where I realized my speaking up wasn't about me. 
It was about holding up a spiritual mirror for her to look into to realize the results of her actions. Because maybe no one ever told her that she can come off very abrupt and rude. And by sharing that with her from a place of kindness and grace, she was able to see that. And now she can move about in her life thinking twice when she quickly responds to someone without thinking about it. Does this make sense? So look at speaking up as a win, as a beautiful way to step into your power in your life. When you start to hone in with that communication with self and you start to really listen to that quiet voice of your soul, you will never be steered wrong.